I kind of suck at Airsoft. But nowadays there's an AI or robot for pretty much everything, and oftentimes they're better than people. So I decided to make my own robot for Airsoft to see if an ordinary guy like me can make a robot that's better than a person. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna 1v1 the robot to be the ultimate test of man versus machine. Good rounds in the container, clean tap water. Three to four hours? One eternity later. All right. All right, so the gun worked. For 10 bucks, you get the gun, you get 10,000 rounds, 5,000 of them glow in the dark. I mean, if this was an airsoft gun, it would be 10 bucks just for 10,000 rounds alone. And honestly, this has about the same amount of power as like a cheap airsoft gun. It also like feels really durable too. It doesn't feel like a light piece of plastic, like it actually feels nice. But anyways, now that we know it works, we need to take the batteries out and we need to figure out how to basically connect it to a different battery pack so that we can switch it on and off. Oops. All right, now we have all these batteries. I have this eight battery battery pack here, which is literally perfect for this. Now I have this wire here, and I'm basically just gonna take the wire and connect it to where the power would go in on the battery pack here. That way, I can uh, then power it with this battery pack, which allows me to take this. This is a relay. It's like a switch that's controlled by electricity. So basically, I can put this between the battery pack and the gun, and then I can use it to switch it on and off with my Raspberry Pi. Why is the tape not tape? <laughs> Where's the little... Thing. There it is. Boom. We have tape. Oh, shoot. That'll, that'll hold it together for now. So, I'm gonna take this zip tie here. I'm gonna zip tie the trigger down. So now if I flip the switch on the battery pack, it should fire. Perfect. Now, we just have to make a turret that tracks me and shoots me with AI. Easy. Right? <laughs> How hard could it be? I'm trying to decide where to put it. I think I'll just glue it to here, like this. Boom, that's pretty good right there. As much as I'd like to like 3D print a nice mount for this, my 3D printer is broken right now because it sucks because it's a Creality Ender 3 and it's cheap and it's crappy. Now let's put the servos on to make it move up and down, left and right. So I found this random scrap of wood here, and my plan is to take the servo, attach it to the top here, so that the gun goes right here, and then take the other servo, attach it like this, so it pivots like that. This is glued on pretty good now, so let's put the other servo on down here. Now I have this other piece of scrap wood and I'm going to take the other little plasticky thing for the bottom servo, glue it to there and this will be like the base. That's freaking sick. It's time to wire this thing up so that it actually does stuff. Relay isn't working for some reason so I think I'm just gonna try to use one of these little transistors. It's probably not big enough for this, but worst case scenario, it explodes. And it's not giving it power. Okay, I need to find something else. Relay pin out. I was wiring it wrong. Jeez Louise. Scare the crap out of me, that thing's so loud. Software time. 
Yay. Now, I didn't really get a lot of footage of this because if I did, it would literally be like 20 hours. It took me so long to make this. So well, let's just say it was awful. Totally not worth it for this stupid YouTube video. So here's the code I eventually came up with. And ironically, it was written mostly by ChatGPT. Basically how this script works is you have this whole camera part here and then it feeds into some kind of AI thing. I don't really know how it works. But basically it looks for faces. And if you're wondering why faces, it's because I couldn't really get it to work with just humans as much as I'd like to make it work with just humans because usually you're wearing a mask when you're playing Airsoft. But... Raspberry Pis aren't very good and apparently faces are easier to detect. And when it detects a face, it stops scanning, it locks onto the face, and then it turns on its laser and fires the gun at the same time. And if you're wondering why I added a laser, why not? As you can see, I had to use threading, which if you don't know what that means, Neither do I, but what ChatGPT says it's doing is basically running each part of the script separately, which is really helpful because the Raspberry Pi, like I said earlier, sucks and doesn't have a lot of power. So without it, it's really, really laggy. And even with it, it's kind of laggy, but it's acceptable if you use threading to run all the things separately so it's not all in one giant script that lags the machine. And so yeah, that's, that's the script. It's... <laughs> Man, it sucked. Guys, please subscribe. Probably have like 40 hours in this video. It's just, just not worth it. So now that I finally have the robot done, let's test it out. It's not gonna get me, right? You can't see very far. You're probably good. Shoot, it's aimed at the city. So as you can see, robot works great. So now it's time to see if it's actually any better than a person. That's right, it's time for the ultimate test of man versus machine. I think I win. I shot it. Yo, I'm right here. Shoot me. Shoot me. Why is this thing so bad? Final. So yeah, it kind of sucks. Um, I don't think it would really be that helpful in an actual airsoft battle. I spent too much time on this video. Please just subscribe because I don't know.